Hey, and welcome back to another video. Today in this one, I will show you how you can customize your Windows desktop to something completely different. Now, keep in mind that your Windows 11 desktop will never look the same after watching this video and make sure that you stick around until the end because the transformation is absolutely insane. Now, please do me a favor, smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already. And without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, the first program, which you want to install on your computer is this one it's called start 11 and this one will give our taskbar as well as start menu a completely different look and it's very futuristic by the way now once you are here on this website just simply click on try it for free and you will get this .exe file on your computer by the way i will also put this link in the video description down below and while you are down there you guys may check out this wallpaper and many others i made by clicking the link in the video description. Once you have this file and if you want to see the ending of it, you can simply go here under the view, click on show and then here make sure that you enable file name extensions and this will show this ending of the file so .exe and now double left click on it and it should start the installer. Now here just simply follow the installer just like so. Now once you have this program installed so start 11, you should see here three options I highly recommend before purchasing this program that you actually try it for 30 days. So here simply click 30 day trial and here you'll have to enter your email. Now once you activate it start 11 with your email you can see here the message thank you your trial has been successfully activated. Click here on finish and now let's start customizing our taskbar and also start menu. So here we have the first question how would you like your taskbar configured? I will go with center aligned and let's click on OK here. Now if I open the start menu you can already see this brand new start menu look. Here we also have plenty of the styles to pick from. Now the one which I do prefer most is this one Windows Pro style and let's click on start menu to show you how this one actually looks like so this one looks very very nice indeed in some cases you want to go back to normal start menu you can always click here on Windows menu shortcut and this will open default Windows 11 start menu now we are pretty much done with the start menu let's continue with the taskbar so here what you want to do is to click on taskbar and then here on the right you will find this toggle. Make sure that you turn it on and then here click on yes and now you can see that the icons actually moved here to the left and that we have this start 11 enhanced taskbar enabled. Now here on this page you will have to click on taskbar blur transparency color and here make sure that you toggle this option on so give the taskbar rounded corners and click on this. Now you guys can already see that we have this floating taskbar but down below if we scroll down we can also see here advanced settings for our rounded taskbar. Now, one thing which I highly recommend here is that you click here on the rounded setting here on the left and make sure that you change this to maximum rounded. So right now our taskbar looks like this. Now, if we scroll down down below a bit further, we can also change the taskbar size. For example, we can go from medium, we can go to large and click on yes. And you can see what this large size of a taskbar actually looks like. But I think that we should definitely go back to the medium as it was said before. Now we are pretty much done with the settings here on the taskbar options. Let's click on the start button here and change this option from left aligned to the center aligned. However, you have also the third option, which is this one. So this will make the applications here in the middle and the start button here on the left. But I think that I do prefer the center aligned option the most. Now, one thing which you can also do is to click here on configure enhanced taskbar. Now on top, here you'll find this option taskbar button combining here we currently have this setting set to never combine taskbar buttons but you can also change this to always combine taskbar buttons so this is what this looks like so this is turned on on windows 11 by default and this is what i like more than never combine taskbar buttons feature now one thing which you can also do here if you click on taskbar here is to change the transparency of the taskbar so here down below you have adjust taskbar transparency option if you click on here you can for example reduce this to let's say 70% and now we have more transparent taskbar. So we are pretty much right now done with the taskbar as well as the start menu. 
you. Now, this is what the taskbar looks like. And this is what the start menu looks like as well. Now, whenever you, for example, maximize the window, the taskbar will also fill out the rounded corners. And this is how the taskbar looks like at the moment. Now, if you minimize or resize the window, the taskbar will go back to normal. Now, let's continue with the wallpaper. But before we go to the wallpaper section, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Your support is highly appreciated, by the way. Now, let's go here to the Reddit where I found this wallpaper pack. So here it says original ones are paid. So I created some myself. Here on this website, you will find this drive link to the Google Drive. And I will also put this Google Drive link in the video description below. Now, here you will find plenty of the wallpapers, but the one which I will go for is this one. It's called Frame 15. And you guys can simply download it from this website. And once you have this wallpaper on your computer, simply navigate to your downloads folder. And right now I will right click on it and then click here, set as desktop background. Now, one thing which we can also do here is to set this wallpaper as our lock screen wallpaper as well. So one thing which you will have to do here is to double left click on it. This should open the photos app. Click on the three dots here, select here, set as and select here lock screen. And now if I lock my computer, you can also see here that we have this same wallpaper on the lock screen. So the next thing which we want to add to our desktop are some of the widgets. Before we dive into the widget category, we can also here change the color of our taskbar. So one thing which I will do here, I will navigate here to the Windows settings. And here I will go to the personalization tab, click on colors. And here, make sure that you change this to the dark option. And now I think that the taskbar is much more visible here on our desktop. Now let's download some of the widgets. So here I will search for rain meter. So this is the program which we are going to install. And it's a program which supports adding widgets on our desktop. Here I will click on download to get .exe file. Let's click on save. And now we can search for a few widgets. First, let's search for the Jax core. And let's click here on the GitHub link. I will also put this GitHub link in the video description right below the like button. Click here on the releases and then click on this file, which ends with .rmskin. Click on OK here and let's search for another one, which is called Drop Top. So make sure that you search for this widget as well. Now on this website, you will find two versions to download paid and the free one. I will just go with the free one and you can simply click here on this button and the download should start very, very shortly. Now you are pretty much done. Let's go here to the file explorer. Let's go to the downloads folder and first let's install the rain meter. So after you've installed the rain meter on your computer, you should see a few of the pre-installed widgets on your your desktop. Simply right click on them and then click on unload skin. And now let's install our first widget, which is called Jax Core. Simply double left click on it and it should open the installer. And I'll click on the install button. Here, click on this option below the get started button. And here on the first page, click on the library. And here, select this widget, which is called modular players. So just like this, click on this green arrow to install this widget on your computer. And now now to activate this widget, simply click here on left toggle, click here under the style options, click here on general and change this style to Windows 11. Now go here under the style options and here what you will want to change is the widget scale. I will go with 0.6 so this will make it smaller. Now for the blur variant, I will go with standard. For the rounding, I will select here standard as well. And now for the background color, I will click on this and change this to three times 255. Then click on enter and the widget should change its color. Now, the last thing to do with this widget is to place it somewhere here at the bottom. So just like this and to align it, right click on it, click on align and then here select horizontally centered. Now let's continue with our last widget and this one is called drop top basic version. Let's double left click on it as well and then click on install. Now just follow the installation process of drop top four. And now on the right here, 
if you click on this four, you will find settings for this application. Let's go here to set the home icon to something else. Let's go with this Windows logo and toggle this option as well to on. So monochrome icons. And now we can also change the size of the menu bar on top. So make sure that you go here under the options and here down below, click on adjust size setting. Here I will go with mini one and this is pretty much it. Now you will also have to change the shape. So here down below, if you don't want the rounded corners, you can simply click here on shape and then turn off rounded top bar corners as well as rounded menu corners as well as rounded monitor corners. And now once you've done that, you can simply click here on restart rain meter. And now we are almost done. The one thing left to do is to remove this recycle bin from our desktop. So just simply right click on the desktop, click on view here and turn off this option show desktop icons. And this is pretty much it for this Windows 11 customization tutorial. I think it looks very, very nice, super clean and also minimal yet modern as well. So yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with this setup. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already. And I will also put every single program I used in this video linked below in the video description. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.